Well, YouTube, I have two corrections to do today <laughs> from basically yesterday. And that's basically starting off with the Shining Fates that I did yesterday. I had some good pulls in them. I've got an actual message about one of the cards that I was really excited for that I said was one out of three I wanted. And they were like, you do know that that's not a VMAX card, right? And it's just a regular V card. And let me go ahead and show you what it is. Yes, I am fully aware it's just a regular V card. And the VMAX is a little bit, uh, excuse me, it's worth more than this. But I'm okay with that. Out of the three I wanted, this was one of them, you know. Because basically the third is either the VMAX or the V. Either one I would have been happy with. The other is the Ditto. And you know the Charizard is the first one. But I am really happy for this regardless. Okay, you don't have to correct me. You don't have to be like, oh, you sure? Oh, there's better cards. It's what I wanted. Not what you wanted. Not what they wanted. But what I wanted. You know, so... Um, excuse me for a certain tone, but, you know, that kind of aggravates me. You know, I, I'm fully aware. Now, what I'm not aware of is, you know, because I am getting back into the collecting with the Pokemon... That I'm unaware of certain facts, you know, because I've been <laughs> all the way back to, you know, the first, second generation. We're already on the eighth. Yeah, I had to look that up today because um, I was kind of confused today. I got paid and I wanted to get a booster box. And unfortunately, I found out the hard way. Shining Fates and, you know, Hidden Fates are the two that I, said I really like the most. And that's because they're holiday slash special Pokemon cards, you know. Ah, man. Those who got uh, promo cards in there, those are your special packs, your special Elite Trainer Box, your, you know, special holiday slash whatever. And they don't have booster packs, so I'm going to have to write that in the description whenever I upload that, but yeah. Kind of hurt my feelings because I was looking hard too. And those who do have 36 packs, over 300 for it? You crazy. I hate that the Vivid Voltage has jumped up over 200, but other cards you can still find for like around 120, 160. But the, the older ones I understand is far more expensive, but you know, 300 for it? No, no. I'd rather just prefer collect, uh, getting these things, you know. If I knew that these were special editions and whatever, I would have took the chance when I first bought these to buy extras, you know. Back when it was a little bit cheaper, I could have got a second one or a third one. Yeah, kind of hurt myself because now they're going for more. But I'm hearing that today they've had Walmart stocks again three days in a row. It's crazy, so I'm hoping tomorrow there's more stock. And I'm going to go up there tomorrow. And hopefully I can grab the shiny. Because I'm not going to pay no 70 something plus. You know. When you can still get these for like around 50 or something. Like was it 50, 54, 55, 8 around that time. I mean excuse me. Pay around that price. So yeah. I, I had to get that out the way. You know. It kind of hurt my feelings. You know. Um, so Champions Pat. Shining Fates. Hidden Fates. And then there's some other ones I was told that's like, you know, the upper generation, generation like 5, 6 or whatever that got, something like that. So yeah, getting them older boxes is going to be a toughie. You know, I just recently today, you know, I was down out, but I saw another Elite Trainer box that's usually over $350. And I went ahead and got it. That uh, the price that they dropped it to, and it was like a little bit over 200 something. I tried to get it exactly 200, but they, they weren't going to budge, so I had to get it exactly at their 220. You know, saying you got your shipping and taxes, it kind of went to like 250. I hate that, but it's a better price than what it's going for, and it's the Cosmic Eclipse. So I pulled the trigger on that. I'm hoping that. I, they don't get these uh, reprints for that, you know, because if they do, I'm going to be a sad little pup. <laughs> yeah, excuse me, my nose is a little bit congested, so that's why I sound like that.
let's go ahead and uh, get to the Rebel Clash. If you heard me before, I said I pulled the trigger, uh, trigger on this because it was at retail price. And I almost got another Shining Fates, but I held back thinking there was a booster. Yeah, so that's that's on me. I could have got one for retail price already yesterday. That's that hurt, but I got two of these, so let's go ahead and knock one of them out at least, right? Alright. Like always, so it's got a little opening in here. This way it's a little bit easier for me. And an update on Guardians Rising that I was said I was trying to get a while back for a good price. Yeah, the, the person was playing games with me. He would let me go ahead and put a bid on it. And then he just let it sit there. And he'd be like, oh, you, you still want this? And when I put another bid on it, he'll just sit there and, and, and let it go through its duration of 24 hours or whatever, you know. It's not a bid, but, you know, you um, on the site, it's called a bid. But, um, the other, uh, you know, eBay, they call it, like, you know, um, a, a barter type, you know. Can't think what it is. You, you put your price in or whatever. <sighs> and then it's the box what it looks like. Always, this is why I get these little boxes. This is for the little manual. I'm thinking for the older boxes. Instead of trying to get, you know, a box at a full price. That's like way, way expensive. I'm thinking maybe getting a used one that's on eBay. That has the book, the dice. And, you know, the sleeves. And it's just missing everything else. And that way I just have it and I can just get the booster pack for it. You know, for those that have booster packs. Yeah, but the true reason is reading material and a checklist. That's my biggest thing I wanted the most. is a full, better checklist. Because whatever I do find online, it's not complete. It's not full. Alright. Oh, oh, it always looks good to see complete packs that's untempered with. And usually you can tell it's by an everything looks legit on the other sides and in the middle. That's how you you can really tell, you know, because otherwise you put it out and look in the front or in the back, it's either torn or, or cut in a little bit. Sometimes they'll even find a good method of resealing. And it, it, it kills off everything, you know. It really do. And to me, this is just like a miniature book. You know, the, the instruction side of play. I'm more a collector. I ain't never been good at um, playing the actual game. I would always get uh, destroyed. I ain't never been good at a game. So I just collect the cards. And fully inspecting... It has been untempered with. And unfortunately, this only has eight packs. Mm -hmm. Not ten, but eight. Kind of sad, but hey. I'm, this is just for the boxes. I don't know why I got a second one. I should have got the booster. Um, <laughs> that's on me. That is on me. In other news... I told you how three packages were delayed yesterday. Only one of them showed up today. The other two are still delayed again at the same spot. They, they didn't bother to ship it out. It's still in Georgia. I'm in Georgia, but like a little further inwards. And I still have to wait. Here's mm -mm -mm. Mr. Meme. Alt costume. What are you tearing up, little one? A fish Pokemon is always weird looking to me. Here we got a uh, reverse Bunnelby. Or Bunnelby. I forgot how it, how it's been pronounced. That's, that's an issue with PTSD, short term memory, and easy to forget things off the bat when it really matters. Double V. I think I have to done Vui. But still, we got a nice pull regardless. Okay, I'm going to put these cards up. I'm not going to put it down there because... As you can see, the kitty is on the prowl. And this is the smaller, younger one I have. 
and he likes to get into everything. But he's very affectionate though. I'm surprised he's not meowing for attention. All the others are in the living room, lucky me. Once again, those who don't know, I do wear gloves because I have, it's, it's not greasy fingers, but you know, my hands are not dry. They leave a lot of fingerprints and blemishes on, you know, glossy type um, surfaces. So I have to, if I want to keep things good, you know, I want to constantly get a towel, try to wipe things off and then maybe damage the card or whatever. We got a reverse cursed shovel. So, this is a so-so pool right here. Nothing spectacular. And since I am going for full, uh, complete decks with most recent um, cards, the 8th generations, uh, you probably will see me have multiple certain elite trainer boxes being, you know, the special ones that come with the promo. Uh, not happy about that. I wish they just had, you know, the booster packs, but, hey. There's the regular one. Gold picks. I always enjoyed the designs and the look of it. Far-fetched. Here we got a reverse Skyla. I don't know if it's out of this... Um, a Rebel Clash or not, but I definitely do want the full art Skyla or the rainbow one they got. I don't know which one that's out of, but I'm hoping to get. So nothing spectacular, a, a decent pool. Mime again. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm not saying every name of the Pokemon because I will mess some names up. <laughs> Is this Stone Joiner? Reverse. A so so pull. Hopefully, the next pack will have something good in it. My first time seeing this happening. Then we got a gallery in the Meowth. It's a weird looking design for it, but hey, it's a different skin. Nice look. We got reverse um, Pelipper. Uh, this one is unfortunately again a so-so pool. Alright, matching card. Yeah, there's a meme online about this Pokemon, what they call it. I'm not going to repeat it on here, but if you know what I'm talking about. Like I said, some of the designs, I wonder how they get approved. 
And like, do they even take the time to have uh, people look at it? Like a whole uh, meeting. And so they be like, you know what? That's a great design. Let's approve it. <laughs> Once again, another reverse. Far-fetched. Oh, man. This ain't looking good at all. So, so cool. So, I take it maybe the, the Rebel Clash has a lower hit chance than uh, the others. Here's the reverse version, Meowth, the Galarian version. And yes, once again, a so slow pool. Oh man, this is looking sad, looking sad. Went down to our last pack. And only one had a nice hit. Oh man. <laughs> Reverse Snorlax. And here's the second uh, nice one right here. Phalanx V. And I got that one. That's a nice design. Something different from the other Sasling. Alright, so out of eight packs, only two had some decent hits. Well, excuse me, some nice hits. Uh, everything else is just so, so to decent. So, wow, this this, this Rebel Clash one was looking kind of sad to me. You know, some of the other ones is usually like th uh, three packs per hit. I mean, like three packs so you get like a good hit. And this one was four. It's kind of sad. But still, I'm happy to get something different, some, some nice stuff. Some that I didn't have, I can put to the, the binder for the collection. And hopefully the other Rebel Clash will have better stuff, right? Well, let me know what you thought. Hmm? Leave me some likes, some comments, but always please subscribe. And enjoy.